Hello everyone, this is Neha Kulshan from Crescent Creation. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. This is another video for my Christmas card series. And you're getting two videos this week because I could not upload a video last week. I had some issues going on with my laptop and uh, I was scared I would lose all the data. Since I was able to retrieve most of my videos, so I thought I would get back on track by uploading one more video this week. So for my video today, I created a slimline shaker card using some newly released Spellbinder products. These products are not at all Christmassy, but they are very versatile. So I'm just going to show you how I use them to create my Christmas card. So there is a lot of hot foiling going on in this card. I'll start with my focal point. All the products that I'm using today are from their newly released floral reflection collection. So this one here is the Glimmer Essential Solid Floral Reflection Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. And I'm gonna go ahead and hot foil it using this dark green foil from Spellbinder. And you can see me struggling to open this foil. It was so hard. If you guys have an easier way to open these foils, please share with me because it took me forever to open it up. But once I managed to open this foil, I am just gonna go ahead and line up this onto my cardstock. Making sure that the shiny side of the foil is facing towards the hot plate. So once I have my cardstock, my foil and my hot plate in place, I'm going to go ahead and use some tape to tape it so that it doesn't move. Then I'm going to go ahead and place this onto my machine, uh, making sure that the plate is touching the machine first. I just flipped it and since it was taped nicely, nothing moved and everything is in place. So once I put my plate, I went and hit that button on the left side. The green light started blinking and once the light is steady, I'm going to go ahead and add the glimmer uh, cutting plate and a shim and pass this through my die cutting machine. I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. I did not show that part in my video here because it means I have to move a lot of things on my desk to make sure that my die cutting machine is also in the camera view. So once you have passed your plates through the die cutting machine, you can just uh, remove everything and here is the final reveal and look at that beautiful gorgeous foiling. Just love how beautiful it looks and now I'm gonna go ahead and use the coordinating die. This die is part of the Essential Floral Reflection Etched Die Set. It's a set of 13 nesting dies and one of the die coordinates with the solid hot plate. So here is how the die cut looks. You get this beautiful white border all around your hot foiling and it just looks so mesmerizing to me. Next I took two smaller dies from the same nesting die set and I taped them together so that I can die cut a frame. This frame will create the window for my shaker well. So here I'm using my gold mirror cardstock to die cut the window frame. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue behind the frame to glue uh, some clear sheet to create the window. But I just picked up my frame and I'm gluing it to my clear sheet. So I don't know why I did not just die cut uh, the clear sheet using the same die so I didn't have to use my scissors here. But anyway so I'm using my scissors to uh, cut off the excess clear sheet but you can for sure use one of the dies uh, to die cut the clear sheet now once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and create the well for my shaker so here I'm using these thin uh, adhesive foam strips from my store these foam strips comes in uh, two sizes in a pack you get 3 mm and 5 mm strips they're almost 50 to 53 3 mm strips and almost 30 to 33 um, 5 mm strips in a pack they come really handy to create shaker wells like this or to add sentiment strips to your cards so here I'm just using the 3 mm strip today to easily put these strips on my frame I'm just removing the backing of the strip first that way I'm able to manipulate the foam strip and easily able to curve them and that way I get the perfect shaker well for my shaker cards here I'm almost done finishing my shaker well trim off the excess and make sure that I close the two ends properly so that none of the shaker materials get loose before adding the shaker materials do not forget to use your anti-static powder tool just run it all around the inside of the foam strip so that way none of the shaker materials go and get glued onto the sides of the shaker for my shaker material i'm gonna go ahead and use this iridescent sequence mix from crescent creation 
I'm adding a handful of it to my shaker base. These uh, foam strips are pretty thick. They can hold good amount of shaker material in them. So that's why you can see I added a good amount of iridescent sequence mix here. And I'm also going to add some Prisma glitter from Lawn Fawn. I thought it just added to the Christmas feel. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue my shaker window just on top of my shaker base. Making sure everything is nice and centered here. Took me a few seconds to make sure it's nice and centered. Things like this just increases my heartbeat and <laughs> it takes me a little bit of time to figure out the perfect alignment. Needless to say, I was able to do it and I was so happy that I got it exact right on the very first try. And since I was happy with the placement, I just went and nicely pressed the shaker frame so that I know it's nice and glued. And now I can just shake my shaker and trust me, that is so, so, so satisfying. Now that the shaker window is done, it's time to work on other elements. From the same floral reflection collection, I'm using the Just For You Glimmer Hot Foil Plate and Die Set. This set has this beautiful floral hot foil plate along with a coordinating die. Also has two sentiment hot plates along with two coordinating banner dies. But today's video, I'm just using the floral hot plate and the coordinating die and I'm hot foiling it using silver hot foil from Spellbinders. I don't know if I've told you earlier, but I love the hot foil collection from Spellbinders. They have beautiful hot foils of, uh, in wide variety of colors. So here I'm just using a red cardstock to hot foil my floral image here. So this is one of the ways you can use your non-Christmas uh, products to create a Christmas card by using Christmassy uh, colors. So to give this card more Christmas feel, I made sure I used the reds and green combination. And anyways, that's one of my favorite combination to create Christmas cards. This is the beautiful reveal. I just love it. I love hot foiling. Seriously, you can almost never go wrong with it. Here I'm just going to go ahead and die cut this using the coordinating die from the same set. Now for my card background, I'm using this uh, diagonal stripes embossing folder from Spellbinders. And I'm embossing a white cardstock that measures 3 by 8 inches. Next, I'm going to go ahead and mat this onto a green cardstock that measures 3 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter inches. Applying some double sided tape behind my embossed background here. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue it onto that green cardstock. Since the green cardstock is just a little bit bigger, I get this beautiful green outline all around my embossed background. For my sentiment, I hot foiled this beautiful uh, sentiment that says just a note to say thank you. Here I'm just trimming around the sentiment using my scissor. Now that all my elements are ready, I'm gonna go ahead and work on assembling everything together. I'm going to first go ahead and glue my shaker in place using some liquid glue. Next comes that floral uh, fold die cut. I'm going to go ahead and glue that using a combination of foam squares and liquid glue. The height of my shaker is pretty good. So I had to use doubled up foam squares here to make sure that the height of the shaker and the height of this floral die cut uh, matches. So here I'm just figuring out where I should place my foam squares. Once I know where to add that, I'm going to go ahead and glue it in place and also add some liquid glue and glue this foiled floral die cut in place. Added some liquid glue behind the sentiment and I'm gluing that directly onto my shaker. I make sure I still have a little bit of that shaker window showing so that the recipient knows that it's a shaker card and they can shake it. Here is the final reveal. I glued the card front to a red card base. And to finish off, I added some pearls in golden color from Crescent Creation. I just love how this card turned out. The color combination, the hot foiling, everything just looks beautiful. I just love the sentiment. I know a lot of people would think, why a thank you card for Christmas? But I really like it. I think a thank you card is appropriate for Christmas. And if you're worried, you can add a Christmas related uh, sentiment to the inside of the card and you are good. So this was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Here are a few more videos that you might like to watch. Thank you for visiting. Happy crafting.